Uh, so I suppose this is a significant event because it is the first time the government is wanting to issue short-term paper um, in, in a long while. Uh, what type of demand, firstly, are, are we likely to see for T-bill paper tomorrow anymore? Yes, definitely. It's something that the market has been uh, awaiting for a long time now. Uh, both the, the Bankers Association and, and the, the, the public has been calling for introduction of, of that paper to try and uh, uh, revamp the, the interbank market, which has been dry since the, the multi-current regime. Uh, however, in terms of, of the, the demand for, for this paper that, uh, that is being introduced tomorrow, we are not yet certain how the bankers will respond, but um, suffice to say that uh, the government, uh, as we speak, owes about $10 billion, uh, both local and, and external uh, funders. So the, their credit rating at the moment is actually in dire straits. Uh, so for, for, for the banking uh, public, it's yet to be the ascertained how they will respond to this, uh, this offering, but we'll wait and see, I think, tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I mean, which are the type of banks that are likely to, to get involved in this uh, new market and, and are likely to basically buy up these T-bills? Uh, for starters, the, the, the Arab is, is actually indicated that uh, this paper will be introduced uh, without the option of uh, the Arab is the having to, to buy them back before maturity. So, in other words, I'm simply saying, uh, liquid, uh, very liquid banks should be the ones participating. And uh, from our market perspective, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's at the moment, uh, the, due to the liquidity crunch, it's not all banks that have got uh, liquidity to, to stay uh, outside for, for 91 days. So we are looking at uh, most probably the top five banks in the market, uh, the likes of CBZ, your, your, your foreign banks. They are the, the ones that are likely to participate in this venture. But we, we are likely to see great interest from, from government-linked uh, 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 banks uh, such as CBZ and uh, perhaps FDC. I mean, if you had to be positive and uh, see strong demand coming through from, as you say, the bigger top five banks, uh, is this likely to, to spur secondary market activity at all? Um, we, we, we would definitely need to, to, to explain that, but uh, the interbank market, as I said, has been more rebound because there have they, been lack of uh, collateral to, to secure funding from, from each other's banks. So if uh, the, the bank has accepted this paper, it will definitely unlock uh, some of the logjam that has been happening in the banking sector. Uh, overall, what is your assessment of the initiatives by the RBZ to increase liquidity in the market and, I suppose, help recapitalize uh, the smaller struggling banks? On one hand, it's actually a welcome development because it's, it's something that uh, everyone has been waiting for. Uh, on the other hand, it's, it's it's a paper that is introduced on the on the background where the, the, the land of last resort is actually incapacitated in terms of uh, uh, being able to, 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 to play its, its role as land of last resort. And then on the other end, we are, we are seeing this as perhaps a, a testing uh, to see whether the banking sector is yet ready to, to, to play uh, the trade at blue market. Also, the fact that it has been introduced one month prior to our national budget. We think that perhaps the, the, the fiscal authorities want to, to have a, a feeling of uh, how the treasury bill market will go forward. So they want to test the market at the moment before they can present it in a fiscal uh, policy uh, come November. Any more? Thank you so much for joining us today. Great to have you on the show. Any more Taravinga Equities Analyst at Kingdom Financial Holdings on the launch of the T-bills as of tomorrow over in Zimbabwe.